Hey guys and welcome to my introduction to CSS3. Uh, what is CSS3? CSS3 is basically the newest standard to the CSS. It's basically like a version 3 of the CSS, the cascading style sheet. And uh, it adds a whole lot of new features. I'll be going through a couple of them in a, couple, uh, in a few seconds slash a few minutes. But basically it makes your website a whole lot interesting, there will be animation, dynamic stuff and your website will be far more interactive with CSS3. It basically does a couple of things that you, uh, you can do with jQuery but because it's CSS3 you don't need to in, uh, link anything, it's, you don't need to add any uh, JavaScript libraries and it's easier to use. So some new stuff in CSS3. CSS3 comes, uh, there will be a lot more features coming out because CSS3 is currently in development. However, this is only five of hundreds of new features that actually came out and is being uh, used in modern browsers, modern websites already. Uh, rounded borders, so you have initial borders which were only uh, square borders, or rectangle borders, you can uh, use border radius properties to make it round. Uh, you can have borders with shadow effects. You can have text with shadow effects. You can have animation, so you can have like, I don't know, a ball that goes from left to right or it bounces and all that cool stuff. And you can also have 2D and 3D transformation, so you can use matrices and all that stuff to uh, rotate your a border or box or whatever, 90 degrees, 80 degrees, 270 degrees in uh, all X, Y and Z dimensions. And there's a hundred more features that I'll be uh, talking about uh, in my upcoming videos in my CSS3 se series. Now uh, CSS3, uh, CSS2 and CSS1 came up, uh, if you think of it like a big box, it, the, all the features was in one big box. and Updating all that uh, features inside that CSS2 box was a daunting process. So what they decided to do was cut the box up into small chunks called modules and then group them, group a features together and call it, and put it into one module. So like the box model, backgrounds and borders, text effects, CSS3 colors, namespaces, media queries, and so on. And what they do is update, add new modules, and then keep on, uh, what do you call it, updating CSS3 so that uh, they you have new features like every now and then. So then don't update all of the CSS2 stuff to CSS3 at once. What they do is uh, update small chunks of them each time called modules. And uh, if you're familiar with uh, web, de uh, web development, uh, you might have heard about a responsive website. And that is basically uh, using CSS3 media queries, which is the bottom thing in my list, which came out, I think, June last year, so June 2012. And what that does is basically it determines the web browser space and then depending on how big your web browser is, is, your website changes so that it actually fits the browser screen and the user who's coming to your website doesn't have to scroll uh, left and right to look at your pictures and scroll through your menus and so on. Now what you need to know before you start learning CSS3, I highly recommend you learn HTML and CSS, actually they're both mandatories. Uh, CSS3 is basically CSS with updated plus new features, so uh, you need to know CSS as well as HTML because you're using CSS3 to change HTML stuff in order to uh, uh, make your website look nice. So if you haven't learned or not familiar or don't know anything about HTML slash CSS, uh, I highly recommend you watch my HTML and CSS videos for beginners. Now, uh, I've uh, put JavaScript in commas, that's because I think JavaScript is uh, really good to learn before you learn CSS3, however it is not mandatory, it's kind of optional, but I recommend it too, so if you don't know JavaScript, you might want to take a look at my beginner's JavaScript tutorial series, which is about 45 videos dedicated to JavaScript. So in my next video, we will be start looking at all the CSS3 uh, cool stuff and yeah, so look forward to that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.